all the wonderful world of repurposing. What's up socials? Happy Social Thursday! Today I thought we'd talk about something super fun and exciting these days, which is live streaming. I'm not really sure why it's so popular. There's just something so addicting about the instant gratification of somebody talking to you while you stare at yourself on a screen. It's like a selfie stream. But I want to talk about live streaming and how you can use it to your advantage for your content strategy. If you are one of the listeners of the Marketing Lifestyle Show, you may have heard Monday's episode, which is what I like to call the muse. It's usually very short and a good way to start your week. So what better way to start your week than an Ask Amy's Mom Everything episode? But here's the cool thing about that. I didn't set up a studio. I definitely didn't have professional equipment outside of a smartphone. I took a live stream that I did in the car with my mother, extracted the audio from the video file and uploaded it as a part of my podcast. Thus repurposing something that was going to die after 24 hours and I thought was just slightly more valuable than that. Okay, maybe not, but still. No, I really was. It gave people some insight into me and I thought, you know, what better way than to get to know me a little bit better on the podcast than for me to reuse this content. And this drives the question, what are you doing so well that you could be taking even greater advantage of to create more content? We're always on to the next thing. We're always on to the next video, the next podcast, the next this, the next that. But what about what you already have that's working really well that you can continue to strive for more results on? Allowing something to sit in your archives can be effective. But what if you can curate it as a part of something new and revive it? Sometimes reviving old content just means saying the same thing over again. Or maybe it means taking an old video and integrating it into a new one. When you take old content that's effective and reuse it, you're actually streamlining your brand and what you want to be known for. When you wrap your mind around all the opportunities for repurposing, it's an amazing opportunity for you as a content creator when we're trying to find so many different ways to scale this process for ourselves. And we're also making it easier for the audience to connect. Start repurposing and start creating a very loyal audience. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. This episode has been made possible by my friends at aweber.com, the only email platform that I trust with my social community. If you go to savvysexysocial.com slash aweber, you will have 60 days of a free trial of their platform. No limitations on that. That's legit. Go try it out. Go check out my face on the landing page, a video I made specifically for you. Go learn more over there. If you need to jumpstart your email marketing and you don't know how, I actually have a free course launching tomorrow. It's Friday, July 24th. If you're watching this later, then lucky you, it's already out. How to get your first 500 email subscribers. I know that that's a thing that we all deal with. And what's the big deal with repurposing content and creating more content if we don't have an engaged, intimate space with our community that we can do that in. And that's why you need email. So go check out all that info. I will be back tomorrow with the Marketing Lifestyle Show, the podcast on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, and SoundCloud. And then of course, back again here on YouTube next week. See you at Savvy Tuesday.